Okay, boys and girls, up for auction next we have a Carvin TL60, which is their very nice neck through body Telecaster model. Uh, these things are great. Um, if you're ordering one new, you can kind of just build it and customize it the way you want it. They have lots of great options. But don't buy a new one. Buy this one from me on the cheap. Here's what I've done with it. Will, if you could turn it upside down. First of all, we'll show you the, uh, the bottom or the back side of the guitar. Very nice uh, contoured card neck joint here. Really easy access. This is a 24 fret guitar and you can get your pinky all the way to the 6th string on the 24th with that joint. Um, it's really easy to do. It's nice. Um, this is a straight through two piece maple neck through the back and you probably can't see the seam. I'll try to get it so you can see the seam between the grain pattern. Two piece neck. Uh, so it's very strong. Um, go straight through there and then you have alder wings. This is an ebony fretboard. Again, it's 24 fret. It's a 12 inch radius. Um, slightly angled headstock just to give you just enough angle uh, uh, for a uh, break angle across the nut. Uh, these are Spurzel locking tuners. I replaced the tuners that were on there. Uh, they weren't bad, but the, 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 I don't know, they just, they felt kind of spongy when you turned them like old, uh, old, uh, what do you call those? What's that Turn brand of key. tuners I hate? The ones that come on Les Pauls. Go toe. No, not Grover. those. Grover, yeah. Uh, oh, Grover. they were nasty Grovers. Yeah, Spurzels are the best. So I put those locking tuners. And I know a lot of people don't like locking tuners, yeah. but I think they work well on this one. Uh, it makes string changes easy. Made in America. Uh, yeah, of course, all carving guitars, uh, all electrics are made in the USA. They do have an import acoustic line, but everything uh, is made in the USA as far as the electrics. Uh, the other things I've done is I replaced the... Uh, the chrome plated like billet steel nickel crappy saddles with some nice brass saddles here uh, to give it a little more telecaster twang um, and then i replaced the stock carbon ap11 single coils which weren't that great sounding uh, in this guitar i've heard them sound good when people take them out of carbon bodies and put them in strats but i didn't like them so i put some lace sensors in because i wanted to uh I wanted to keep kind of a nice, clear, clean, bright tone, uh, but I didn't want it to be too noisy because I play in church a lot and, and our music minister hates 60 cycle hum. So these really cut down on it. Uh, uh, just a caveat here, lace sensors are not silent pickups. They are true single coils, but their, um, their magnetic field design is a little different um, from a traditional single coil, and it really does eliminate most of the 60 cycle hum and noise. But here we have a uh, light blue lace sensor in the neck, a hot gold in the middle and this is a burgundy in the bridge uh, just after a lot of research this was the combination I picked and I think I picked the right one right off the bat um, it's just right for the sound I want um, and I'll, you'll, you'll hear it in a second but uh, basically this is designed to be played um, in live situations at really loud volumes wow. if you've ever played kind of a strat or a telly on the neck pickup through a big hundred watt Marshall stack or something a lot of a lot of times it can get really bassy and muddy and a lot of times you have to switch down to the bridge just to kind of clarify everything um, and so with this body being alder maple with ebony fretboard it's a really bright guitar so everything that I chose electronics wise um, is designed to complement that so uh, that's all the details about the body and you'll have more pictures on the auction the eBay auction so uh, here we go take it away will